What's up, guys? This is Endame, and I'm just saying I'm enjoying uh, the Body Space 100K challenge. What it is, is it's a way to keep people accountable. You post a before picture, and then you, after 12 weeks, you post after pictures along with a mini blog post. I think it's like maybe 250 words or 350, something like that. It's very, very, very simple. So that's what I have planned right now. So I decided for myself to keep myself accountable. Another way is I'm going to just blog or vlog about it every week. So I can be like, okay, this is how I'm feeling this week or this is what I'm doing workout wise. And maybe if I can get some time, I'll record some footage of some workouts. That's why I've been really working on more is to post more of the workouts that I do. And if I have time, it's mainly my thing. If I have time to film them. Right now, I don't use the camera that I have because I don't know how to use the little mini handheld camera that I have. So I usually just use my Samsung Galaxy 4. So with that being said, workouts five days out of the week. I've been doing that for the last couple of weeks, like three weeks, five days out of the week, workouts. This week I've started three sessions of squats and deadlifts because my main objective with this is to not only help myself get back in shape. Some people will see me and be like, you look like you're in shape, but I mean, I want to be at a lower body fat percentage and of course, stronger. Strength is my number one thing now. <laughs> Last year it was a learning year for me with my little experiment of gaining weight and then showing people how to lose it fast. But then I thought to myself, that's not a good thing to be teaching people. You don't want to be one of those people that try to do those at home things or it's, it's just not a good sign. So I decided I'm going to do it the slow and easy way. And that's when I got the five by five and I was just eat and lift, eat and lift. And I've slowly added cardio in. So you can say last year, I went from the beginning of the year for training for a bodybuilding show when I was getting really lean. I was like 220. And then I went to do the, I couldn't make that show. So I used from June to July to go on vacations and not work out and just ate as much food as I can and not care, and not care about any calories or anything. And... So it's from June and July to like now I've been, I pretty much make it so that I slowly don't cut weight too fast. So that's pretty much it. Reducing sodium because for me reducing sodium, I've seen a big difference in it and helps out a lot, especially if you check on the scale. Now scales water weight, don't really care off those measurements. Not gonna really check it very often. I'm for this contest. I'm gonna check it once a week. I don't know why I'm making this weird face like that. Anyways, but I'm gonna be checking the scale once a week. For myself personally, I want to get back to 220, 225, along with keeping my mass. I don't even care what my body fat percentage is, but I care about my strength numbers. So lifting wise, numbers. I want to be, towards the end of the year, my goal is to deadlift 500 pounds, bench press, I want to be at least at 350. If I can get the 400, cool, but 350 is the max goal for bench. And squats, I would love to be, I'm going to lowball it and say 350, but overall for the year, I'd like to be at 400 or close to 400. So. That's the goal for that because I feel what well, I'm not gonna change up my program or anything till I can start lifting some big numbers and doing it in an efficient way. So then maybe one time or not one time, maybe at one point I can do a body a bodybuilding show and then powerlifting. I'd really like to do powerlifting more than anything. And the main thing that I want to fix is my deadlift. My deadlift is good, but I notice that I don't use enough of my hips into it. What I mean is sometimes my deadlift looks like it is 
a stiff leg deadlift and I need to use more of my hips into it. So that's what I'm also going to be correcting and making sure I'm doing that right. So I'm glad Justin brought that up because when I was looking at my video, I'm like, it does kind of look like I'm doing a stiff leg, which that's still impressive to do 405 for a stiff leg, but it look, I did put a hip in there, but not a lot. So I'm going to work on more of that hip torque in there so I can get that full range of motion even more. Because what's the point of lifting something heavy if you're not doing it with great form? So that's my goals, and I'm doing this challenge to keep myself accountable. So be around for the ride. And if you have a body space, I will post my link below so you can add me on there too. And let's keep each other motivated. So there you go. Talk to you later.